Hey everyone, welcome to my quick reject score crash call. Today I'll show you how mastering rejects can supercharge your data science skills. Stick around because we have got an exercise at the end and I'll tackle it alongside you. So just let's get started. This is a GitHub repository of this crash course. You can find the link of this repository in the description below. Here you can see some files. These, this one is rejects and after this we will go through this exercise then uh, there are solutions for the exercise so just uh, jump into this repository you can download this all the source code here as the zip or you can also clone this repository here and if you want to start you can start here or like fork this repository all right so let's jump into our jupyter lab here so basically i will go through all of this jupyter uh, jupyter notebook sorry and you can find jupyter notebook here this one so this is the jupyter notebook for this all right so just so basically in this lecture we are going to talk about pattern matching in strings using regular expression all right regular expressions or rejects are written in a condensed formatting language in general you can think of a regular expression as a pattern which you give to a rejects processor with some source data all right the processor then parses that source data using that pattern and returns checks chunks of text data to data scientists or programmer for further manipulation. Basically, in the center, uh, data scientist field, it's basically very important to like you have a you must have a knowledge of rejects uh, because uh, when we deal with uh, string manipulation or when we deal with strings, we want some manipulation there. Like uh, we want to remove something from there or maybe. Uh, we, um, or maybe we want to like match some patterns from there. So basically, it's very important to have a rejects and uh, rejects knowledge at there. So basically, if you are going to data scientist field or maybe software developer, so you must uh, if if you have a knowledge of rejects, so it's a plus point for you. All right. So first of all, uh, basically this is a Jupyter notebook. I am using a Jupyter notebook here, and as a data scientist. Uh, we used Jupyter or Notebook, so I will like explain all of the uh, steps here. And uh, all right, so I hope you are using Jupyter Notebook too. So we are importing rejects here, re, and here we have a text, uh, basically string, and we will find a pattern here in this string, and that's pattern are uh, amazing. So basically, we are may find amazing word in this string. So whenever it would find amazing word, uh, it would give us some object that would be true. Otherwise, it would give us false. So just rerun this. So yes, it's saying that yeah, it's an amazing day. So it's mean that it's found the amazing inside this text. Let's jump into the next one here. So here we have a text and we are finding the rough pattern inside this string. And here we can see, sorry, we are splitting the rough we are splitting this text on Rafi. All right. So we have Rafi four times. Through, sorry, three times here. So that it's mean that uh, we will get, get a final list of four items. And items basically here are strings. Here we can see there is all uh, there is another function named as find all. So it would find all the patterns inside this text. All right, inside the string. So here we are asking the rejects like find the rafe pattern inside this text. All right. So it would find all the rafe and give you a list. Next, uh, move towards the search. So here in this pattern here, you can see there's a carrot sign here. So it's mean that we want we want rafe, uh, which is at the start of the string. All right. So let's uh, run this cell. So you can see I got back the rematch object and which says that the match was a rafe and it and also it gave me the position of that all right so caret sign means that I want a match at the start of the string so basically if I give space here now it would not work because at the starting uh, there is a space uh, and uh, in our case we are finding a rafe instead of space all right, so basically if I give space here, so it would now work. Okay, I hope now you got it. 
So just uh, revert this one thing here. All right. So let's uh, move on here to this cell here. So here we have a text, and we are finding Rafe in the end of the string here. So we can see we have no Rafe in the end of the string. So that's why we got nothing when I ran this cell. All right. So for example, if I insert this Rafe here at the end of string, now I will get an object. So I hope you got what uh, what is the meant what is meant by this carrot and dollar sign here. All right. And also note that if you if you will use carrot, so you will write this first or uh, uh, first of the word, and in case of dollar, you will put this in the end. All right. So let's jump into the patterns and character classes. So here we have a grade, right? Grades basically it grades A to C here, and we want all of the grade. Uh, we want all of the B grades from this string here. So we got all of the B grades from this string. So what if we want uh, to grab all of the A grades or B grades? So we can use square brackets. And let me zoom in a little bit. Yes. So you can see here we will like insert A and B inside the square bracket, and it's like a OR here. Inside here, here is an OR operator here. So it's mean that uh, from this string's grade, I want all the A's or all the B's. So after run this cell, let me run this first, then run this cell. So I got all uh, list of all the A's or B's. All right. So if I want a grades in this way, like A B or A C. So we can write um, this in this way here. All right, we will separate a, and it means that we would have a every time at the start, and and the second uh, square bracket we can see that uh, we are like applied condition here. Like here we can have a b or c, b or c. So uh, when I will run this cell, I will go. All the list which has A C or A B. All right. There is another function to do this, and this is a very simple. Here we have a pipe operator in center, and we are saying here like uh, I want A B grade or A C grade from this grade string. All right. So here yes. So if we use caret operator inside the square brackets, so it means that I want all the matches except A. All right. So So when I run this cell, you can see uh, it find all the matches from this string except A because here we mentioned the A. So if, for example, if from this grades I don't want B, all right. So I will like write B here. So it's mean that I don't want to match B and anything else B I want to match with that, all right. So when I run this, you can see here I got all the A or Cs except Bs here, all right. So just uh, revert this to A, and here yes, here it's mean that I want to match at the start, which is not A, all right. So when I run this cell, we got nothing because we can see here we have a start, we have a A at the start, all right. So basically uh, that's why it failed here, and we got nothing. So let me explain you for the again here what is meant by this. Basically, we are we are here saying that uh, I want to match except A at the start of the string. All right. I hope you got this. So, for example, if I if I don't if I like remove the A from the start. So, and when I run this, now I will get you can see here C. All right. So it's like very basic here, and I hope you got my point here. So let's rerun this. Else. Now that that let's Move to quantifiers here. So basically, quantifiers uh, is a way where we tell the Rejects engine that uh, I want uh, this pattern maybe for this times, two times, three times, or maybe for infinite number of times, or maybe for one time or two times. So quantifiers basically is a way to tell Rejects uh, engine like I want this pattern for this time, for like four times, five times. Or whatever. All right. So here we have a string here, and we here we have a text. We are saying to the reject engine like I need a minimum two or three. Like I need a, I I need a match of a for the minimum of two times, 
and the maximum of three times. So basically, uh, this is something like this m and where m represents the minimum and n represents the maximum here all right so sorry here okay so i am saying here that i need a for the minimum time of 2 and the or the minimum uh, maximum time of b so if i found this all pattern here from the string so uh, so basically you can see here that i find the found the pattern here and you can see i got the list of two strings here a a uh, B C A A A B C. So you can see here how I got this. Uh, basically, these uh, these are all together. All right. So A B C. Where we have A B C together. Yes. Here we can see we have A B C together, but we didn't get this one. Why? Because here we can see there is a A for the one time. And however, uh, I mentioned here that at least I le I need two A's in order to match. All right. So if we talk about this string, we can see here we have two A's and then B and C. Alright, here. So we match here. So that's why find all give us this match here in the list here. And you can see uh, it also returned this one because here we have a three A's. So we fulfill the conditions in these two cases here. Alright. So here we can see I am saying that uh i need b for the two times here okay so basically i what is meant by this whole here i am saying like that i need a then at least i need uh, b two times here then c all right so you can see it's let me just uh, take this above and add a comment here yes so maybe it would be uh, easier for you guys to understand it so basically you can convert this to this here so we are saying that uh, at the matches i want to be minimum for the two times all right minimum or maximum so basically if we give one value here so it would be the m and n2 all right so here it's mean that i want minimum or maximum like i need this b for the two times just all right so here we i got this one so let's move on to the next one so here we have a question mark operator here this is also a quantifier and we call this one is optional quantifier all right so basically uh, there is a string which contains color or color sometimes uh, we use color or sometimes we use color with u uh, at the front of o all right so basically we are saying here that uh, it's mean here that we want to match a color inside this string we want to match a color in stride these strings but here we are telling the rejects engine that uh, the u would be optional u would u would be a, an optional all right so maybe there can be a u a uh, u sorry u or maybe there uh, cannot be a u in the string so when i run this you can see here i got color and color too because this was a optional here all right and here we can see plus operator here it's mean that i need b i need b uh, pattern for the one time minimum and maximum it 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 can be like home it can be like for the infinite but for the minimum i need it i need it for the one time at least i need add i need uh, for the one time right so here it's and also note one thing that here plus operator is apply to this b character here only all right and this question mark is applied to the u character here and this quantifier applied to this b here only b here because people confuses here like uh, people consider that the p that the plus is uh, like applied to this both but that's not a case here so here the plus is applied to this b here all right so just keep this in mind so uh, we would match in this string whenever we will find um, a 1a and um, at least 1b all right so at least 1b or maybe uh, more than 1b so here we can you can see here we will find this one pattern here because here we will find a here we found the a here and b and this here means that at least uh, a 1b or maybe or more than 1b all right so here we find all these 
uh, inside this you can see here and if we move forward here in the string we would also match this one here because uh, there is a C uh, in front of AB so that's why this was a minimum pattern here so the find all return this one string here all right and ahead you can see there is no such pattern let's move forward onto the string so basically the plus operator and the uh, multiply operator you but a uh, static operator yes you can say it was static operator these both are all same all right the difference is that static means like uh, it it can it can be zero occurrences zero occurrences or more than one occurrence this all right and uh, for here v uh, for here plus uh, it says like it at least at least one occurrence of it or more than that right so it's mean that it can be zero time or maybe it can be more than zero time so here we are saying that we we must need a here and here we are saying that i need b it can be zero time or maybe uh, more than uh, zero so here we can see here i am here it founded the a b b b here and here it founded the a b then again here and here you can see there is no pattern ahead so for example if i insert a a here so you will see that it would return me this a2 so just let's run this cell here you can see that i got a here because why i got a, a here because the b was a op kind of optional here because we are saying uh, by this asterisk here that b can be zero time or can be like more than one time or more than zero time so so now let's move onward to the next cell here this one here so here can you please tell me uh, that this aspect is applied to which word or character here so i hope you got now that this aspect is applied to this character here right so this u here so whenever so when i will like run this cell here you can see i got y o here because u can be of zero uh what you say you can be zero or more than one so that's why here we have we have no u here so that's why we got this and this too so now let's move onward to this here so i just wrote this in order to tell you guys that the static in this case the static is applied to this r only here and here this quantifier is applied to this e only here all right and this plus operator is applied to h only here not not to the full word here i hope you got it let's move on to the next cell here we here we have a large text you can see here we have a large text let's run this text here so here we can see that in the header we have overview which is followed by edit all right so we will we would see something more here you can see here to or maybe if yes, there are many is here maybe i think three or four is four is here all right so our target is to find all the words which is followed by edit here all right and this is a big string so we would find all of the patterns from this string all right so here we can see uh, i i wrote here a to z small a to z capital a to z and i just implemented here that i need minimum of 1 and maximum of 100 here then i am escaping the square brackets because square brackets is a special character in regex so we need to escape this and in order to escape this we use this backslash here all right so we are basically escaping this so basically we are telling the regex here don't treat this as a special character here all right so we so that's why we escape this here in order to tell regex and we also escape this one bracket here all right 
so what is meant by this so we are saying that we want all the um, matches which has which can have ast maybe uh, smaller abc smaller alphabets or maybe uh, big alphabets all right but no digits because there is only small abc and capital abc here uh, and it don't include digits because we haven't uh, specified here 0 to 9 all right so here is or just these here and we told here that we need uh there can be uh, this pattern inside like uh, can have a length between 1 and 100 right so we want this pattern between 1 and 100 right of length so and which is followed by this edit here so here we can see when i like run this cell so yes let me remove this one when i run this cell it gave me the list of all the reject span registers all right so for example if, if i don't escape this here it would not give me so basically it would return all of the okay 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 so basically what we are saying here that we want a to z small a to z or capital a to z and here we are saying that we just want e d i or t then we will take this as a pattern otherwise we will not take this as a pattern uh, otherwise you will not match we will only match where uh, if we have uh, e d i r t in the end right so if we are here we can see we have a e here at the end here we have a t here we have a e here we have a t here we have a e i d all right so here the meaning of this change if i don't skip this one so let's skip this character here in order to tell rejects that don't uh, treat this as a, as a special factor so we skipped this and we will now match uh, with this one now so let's redone this and we just for now find the three here all right so now let's move on to this cell here so here we can see a simplified version of this above so basically here we are basically here you can see that it's very awkward we need to like say this every time if we want like small a to z or capital a to z or maybe some digits all right so here is a small term for this here may let me tell you what this means here this is a character or maybe yes this is a character in regex where it represents this uh, basically it says that i want it says that uh, it can accept every a to b small a to b capital uh, sorry small a to z not b and capital a to z and 0 to 9 digits here right and it's the small z here and also you can see you can like it it's a word character and word includes a underscore so it also includes underscore so it's mean just like this all right so here we are saying that we need any word character or space character and uh, it can be uh, it can be like uh, of zero time or maybe more than zero time and which is followed by this edit here and please remember that we are escaping this special brackets here all right so we would match like every character any word character or space here you can see a space here this is a space here inside the bracket all right so that's why we were able to like access this whole big terms here right you can see here overview access to public records and access to medical records let's run this yes you got reported i hope you understand here so now um let's grab this one because we are not interested to grab this edit here we just need to grab this here all right and we need to grab this header here which is followed by this edit but we don't interested to grab this one here so what we will do here is uh, we will loop through the find all function here and here we are getting title and we are splitting on this we are splitting the title on this open square bracket here which is this all right and when we split here and uh, on the zero index we will found uh, definitely this one and on the one we will found this one this one portion 
so hey we are grabbing zero and we printed out this all right so now let's move on to the next here skipping the special characters so basically if we find for example from this text if i find to if i want to find all the plus signs from this text here it would fail because it, this is a special character inside regex and if i like uh, run this cell it give me this whole a big error here because the the regex treating the plus here as a special character all right so it's treating as a special character and it wants like it, it is saying that uh, on which you are applying this uh, plus operator if i give a here then it would not give me a, any error for now but here uh, as i wrote here that grab plus here so basically the purpose here is to grab this plus here right all the plus here inside this thing so we can't grab because this is a special character we need to skip this one so let's move on to the next one we are skipping this plus now with this backslash here all right so you can now see that we grab the plus here from this thing so it's that simple now if you want to grab this one here so what we do like you can see that this one uh, close parenthesis is also a special character here in the regex so we also like need to escape this one so we are escaping this one with the backslash here too oh ho yeah finally so finally here uh, grab plus emoji here maybe both are same yes both are same so let's read one minute. all right guys so now so now let's jump onto the next section here uh which are groups so basically we can uh divide our patterns into groups and the group pattern for our groups is something like this uh open and close parenthesis all right so let's jump onto this uh pattern here so before that i want to show you here that we were working on here and you can see here that uh we were like uh we were have a pattern something like that yeah okay so now we can also group this pattern so like uh, by uh, applying open and close parenthesis here and also uh, before this uh, slash here and and after this close bracket here all right so let's jump onto the uh, groups here so you can see like uh, i converted like i shifted all of my uh, parts into the groups and by default the group groups are capturable all right so in the output you will see your groups so this is a benefits of groups and you will mostly often see groups uh, in regexes whether it's uh, email patterns or something else so let's jump into this one and let me first of all uh yahan se kar dunga oh mm. okay okay so uh, here uh, we have pattern and let's run this let's run this cell so we can see that i have list of tuples here and each item in the tuple is basically a group you can see here so basically this one group is referring to the first item in each tuple and this group is referring to the second item in each tuple all right so let's uh, so let's now loop from this and we will use pan iter function so we will so we will be able to loop from this so let's this one so we can see that i loop from this and i can grab this tuple through the item dot groups function here all right so let's jump onto the next cell here here uh, we can see that uh, i can also grab our required uh, like our target our, our target was to grab the uh, this one here instead of this one all right so we can grab this one by passing a one here because zero uh, represents the whole tuple and one here represents the first item in the tuple and second if we if i pass uh, first of all on this one cell here you can see and if i like pass set two here so it will grab all of the added which we don't want here all right 
so we want the first item here so i will like uh, i will write one here so let's let's now move on to the next one piece here we can basically also uh, group our uh, what do you say groups yes we can also name our groups and which is basically a uh, uh, i am really uh, use because uh, it's very helpful if you are like uh, dealing with data and using pandas here are many functions which ex which expects from you uh, to have a uh, group grouping names so it's like uh, so it's a like, uh, like important one here so in the pattern so what uh, we have to do is we need to apply question mark and capital p and then our pattern here all right and this will be inside a group so please remember this one all right so by this thing we can group our uh, so we can basically name our groups all right so here we can uh, name for whatever all right so so you can see here so first first one match for the first for the very first one match we are naming this title and for the edit we are naming this edit link all right i hope this clears to you so we can uh, loop from this and now there will be a dictionary because basically what we are doing here uh, we are assigning this will be a key and the pattern match pattern found will be a uh, value all right so for this one here the, the added link will be a key and this pattern will be a value here so what we can do is we can call item dot go big function here and simply we can call a uh, title here all right so first of all let me run this way you can see here when i call group date so it uh, gives me a dictionary here so we can just grab the title here by passing the title keyword here all right so this is enough so we can also like we can see that this was a dictionary uh, if i like print this one you can see here this is a dictionary and we can easily grab a title or whatever added link so uh, our purpose here to grab title so that's why i grabbed the title here all right so now let's move on to the next session here which is a look ahead and look behind so basically this is a very uh, important uh, concept in regex basically what we do we basically asserts or or assumed like uh, we are founding this pattern here which is followed by this added text all right so what we are saying here is that we, we are founding uh, we are in search of this pattern here all right and which is followed by this one which is followed by this one all right and what we call this pattern here we call this look ahead positive look ahead all right so we will uh, cover this one here beneath uh, beneath this cell so first of all uh, what uh, what we can do here is uh, we applied this question mark and is equal to here so before that we were not doing any of these stuff here all right you can see here so what we did we removed this one because we don't want to capture this group here we don't want to capture this group here all right and we just want to neglect this all right so that's why i removed this one added link from here and just applied question mark and is equal to here and i am saying that in this pattern let's uh, uh, let's break it down so what i am doing here is i am uh, assigning this group the name here with the title and i am searching for this pattern here all right so i am searching for any word characters or space uh, which uh, must have more than one occurrences one or more than one occurrences all right and i will grab this one when this will be followed by this pattern here because this is uh, what we are saying that look ahead all right so I, I am going to find this pattern i am searching for this pattern uh, which basically followed by this pattern here all right so this is basically look behind look ahead and positive look ahead all right so uh, i will grab this pattern then here so basically it's very simple and uh, this group will not be captured then so this group will be captured this group will be captured and this group will not be captured by default because we have applied here a positive look ahead okay so we can like more uh, deep and uh, we can like more look deep into the positive look ahead 
basically positive look ahead is used to assert that a specific pattern is found ahead in the input text without actually including it in the match result it is not by this one all right so basically uh, we are asserting that there is a specific pattern uh, is ahead of this uh, certain uh, pattern here and we actually don't want to include that one in our uh, match result so it's simple as that so pattern we can see the pattern here pattern here basically is question mark and is equal to and it would be in the uh, group and i hope you know like group is this bracket open and close parenthesis sorry so now we can jump into our example here we can see that let's say we want to match all instances of the world apple that are followed by the word pi we would use a positive look ahead as follows so basically we want all of the apple words which is followed by pi all right so here we can see in the text uh, there is uh, one apple pie here and one apple pie here all right there are two apple pie here and there is another apple but uh, it's followed by a sauce here so we only want to uh, grab those apples which is followed by pie all right so it's very simple we will say here because i already told you that uh, groups are capturable but when we apply this look ahead positive look ahead then the group will not be, will no uh, will no longer be a capturable all right so basically it won't uh, include in a final result so but we are like asserting that we want to grab those apple which are followed by pi and you can like uh, see here that there is a space because uh, what we are saying here uh, we want apple which is followed by space and pi because we have space here in the text i hope you got this so we got all of the apples uh, which were followed by pi and we can also uh, look at negative look ahead basically what negative look ahead is uh, basically negative look ahead is to you is used to assert that a specific pattern is not found ahead in the input text it is noted by syntax uh, by this so instead of is equal to mark we are uh, using here is exclamation mark uh, for the negative look ahead so we are saying that uh, uh, we want uh, some pattern we want some pattern which is not followed by this one all right so for example we can say here let's say we want to match all instances of the word apple so we want all the apples that are not followed by the word pi so in this case we want all of those apples which are not followed by pi all right so we will then go just one apple here because uh, there is a one apple in the whole text which is not followed by pi so what we can do is we want all of so let's write the pattern we we are saying here that we uh, i want all of the pattern uh, of apple which is not followed by space and pi all right so i will go to all of the apple here you can see here because there were only one apple in the text which is not followed by pi and that apple is this one now jump onto the next cell here. Now uh, see positive look behind. The positive look behind is used to assert that a specific pattern exists immediately before the current position in the input text. It is denoted by this one. All right. So it's like denoted by this one here, and we can see here it, it, it's used to assert that a specific pattern exists immediately before the current position in the input text. Here we are seeing behind our pattern like. Uh, I will first of all let's jump into the onto the example here. We can uh, let's say we want to match all instances of the apple that are pro preceded by the word green. Yes, so we want all of the apple which is preceded by the word green. All right, so we will use positive look behind here. All right, so we are saying uh, here you can see a text and what we are saying in pattern we are saying that I want all of the apples. Uh, where we have green and space behind of apple all right behind of it so i want all of the apple where there is a like a here for example i am saying like i all i i want to see like how many green apples are there all right so because there are we can see there are red apple and also a green apple so i just want to see how many green apples are there so i we will use here they look behind all right so we are grabbing all of the apples here and we are saying that uh, that this one will be followed by this green and space here uh, behind of it. So we are zooming it, and we will we got all the apples here. You can see here. 
let's also run these all cells all right so this was a positive look behind and now we'll jump on to the negative look behind here here we are saying that uh, negative look behind is used to assert that a specific pattern is not present immediately before the current position in the input test it is noted by this one instead of is equal to mark we are using here exclamation mark here all right so basically it's very simple like we want to match all the instances of the word apple we want to match all of the word uh, with a uh, word apple that is not preceded by the word green all right we would use a negative look behind as well so what we are saying here we want all of the apples uh, which is not preceded by the uh, green and space here so it's mean we will uh, do that here if we want like uh, I want all of the apples instead of green all right I don't want green apples and else than that I want all of that uh, so we can use negative look behind here so uh, let's like uh, check uh, the pattern here uh, here I am saying that I want all of the apples uh, which is not followed by this green and space here so else than that I will get all of the apples so you can see here I got all of the apple here because there were only one apple which were not followed by green so this is a red apple here so that's why I got this one apple here alright so now let's move on to the next section here here we have known greedy quantifier uh, here we have a text so basically uh, by default all of the quantifiers are greedy so let me show you uh, basically this plus operator and this static operator are by default greedy greedy in terms like uh, they want to find a longest pattern as much as they can all right so here we can like uh, let me show demonstrate you here um, but for the patterns like you can see here this one is greedy here so I want let's say I want to grab here this one list here and then this one list here because here we can see uh, the pattern here we are saying that I want to grab the uh, open bracket and then close bracket in our final pattern and and whatever in between them all right so I am saying that I want to grab all of the uh, uh, list from the string uh, all right so I want all of the list from the uh, string here and inside the list I want everything so dot and static here represents that uh, in between I want everything all right so it should output uh, this one and then this one all right so when I run this cell you can see here I got a single item here I got a single item here consisting of both of both list but uh, I don't want this I want like I want both separately in the list here so this is what uh, greedy comes here basically this uh, static operator here is a greedy and will try to find a and try to find a and will try to find a longest pattern in this list here all right so basically it finded the lo longest pattern here so basically it when found this open bracket here in the string so then he, he will go like it will go uh, all of the string and then like he founded this close bracket here but he still like he was a greedy and he tried to find the longest still uh, longer longest pattern so he like ended uh, up with here uh, at this uh, position in the string so that's why it's called a greedy but we can make this non greedy by applying a question mark uh, head of this operator here all right so we can see by default all the quantifiers have a greedy because they try to find the largest match we can also make them non greedy by adding question mark so we can uh, make them non greedy by adding question mark here so we can now what we are doing is uh, we just append a question mark uh, in front of this um, quantifier here all right so now it's a non greedy so it will find the shortest patterns all right so now when I will run this cell here you can see that it founded the shorten, uh, shorter patterns and it founded all of the lists and uh, there are there are now two items in this list here and here we can see there were 
only one item so basically this one concept was very important in terms of rejects so so then i uh, like uh, assume that i must be, uh, i must will guide you guys on this topic here non grade quantifier so i hope you got it and it's also apply for the uh, plus operator here right you can see here the behavior is this still and you can also see here so for now just move on to this one here okay so now let's move on to multi multi line regex because we can also use multi line regexes but uh, this is a rare case we use multi line uh, instead we use single line regexes so we have a lot of large text here you can see here let's run this text and i just grab uh okay so this is one all right so let's move on to the next this one here so here we we want to grab basically uh what do you say let me basically what we want to grab here we want to grab the university title which is followed by located in um where is let me find that quickly yes you can see here so basically we find we want to find a title or title which is a university name here all right and which is followed by this here is located in and then we have a city here all right then we have a uh, uh, here what do you say a uh, comma and space here then we have a state here so we want to grab all of these things from this big list here a string here sorry oh let's close this one so now let's move on to this one for example if we when we use multi line regexes so we need to escape the escape uh, we need to escape the spaces then all right and the benefit of multi line regexes is that uh, it's improve the readability all right and if if we use multi line regexes we need to sp use space here so here we are saying that uh we uh, we want to match everything all right match everything which is located by this one here and here you can see that i escaped uh, i escaped a, a space here in multi line regexes we need to escape a escape uh escape a space here all right and then i am saying here that and by default if we uh just remember this one thing here if we group if we name our groups so that would be a capturable and and the and the else and else every other group you can see here this is we are not uh we are not like uh, naming this group here and this one here so it would not be a capturable in the final output only those groups which are named would be a capturable in the final output all right so we are uh, we named this group here title which is basically uh, includes everything and then we are saying that it would be followed by this one here all right and we are please notice that we escape uh, a space here because in multi line regexes we need to escape a space otherwise we can also do that this one here and this represents in uh, represents a, a space in um and rejects all right so now let's move on to this one uh, here we we are naming this group a city here we are saying that we need any word character here all right and then which is followed by this one here so, uh, comma and space uh, we are then escaping our space here then finally we are uh, grouping our state with a state here and we are saying that this would be any word character here all right so when we run this cell here you can see we grab all of the university names cities and state from this string so it's very simple so now let's move on to this one here here our target is to find every hashes which is occurred in this string here and this is a very long string here you can see so now let's run this string here and here what we can do is uh just here we have a pattern all right we want to basically uh 
take all of the hashes here, all right? So as we know, hash start with this hash key. Uh, we are saying that if we want to match hash, then I am saying that it can be followed by any word character or any digits. The occurrence of this word character or digits may be zero time or maybe more than one time. And as we know, hashes uh, are like and it when space will come so we are saying that we are using a look uh, positive look ahead and we are uh, saying here that we want to match this one pattern here which would be followed by a space this one represents a space in regex so when we when i run this cell gv i grabbed all of the hashes which occurred in this string here. all right now let's move on to the next function here which is a sub method Basically, sub method is a method in regex uh, which we use to replace the final output from the string. So we are saying that uh, from this string, uh, replace every space with the nine. All right. So we replaced every space in this text here with the nine. You can see the final output here. So it's very fine. I hope so. So now let's move on to the next. Uh, example here basically we have a list of phone numbers here all right so we can see that we have a list of phone numbers but the formatting is not correct we can see that uh, the formatting is something dot and something we have as spaces something we have a open and curly bracket but notice one thing here that we have equal number of digits in every string here all right and this is a list of strings all right list of strings and where string is a number and but the formatting is not right so basically this is uh something like of data science task so i will like clean this output here and will make uh this uh similar patterns here for every string so let's move on to the next string here what i am doing here is i'm looping through this phone numbers and getting the number which is number is a basically number uh data 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 type part is a string or right. we are getting each number in this variable here and what i am doing is i am saying that i want every match uh i want every match else than digit all right this caret sign here represents that i want every match else than digit all right so basically what i am doing here is i want to replace all of these um, uh, I want to replace all of the other character uh, other than digits. All right. So I am replacing all of the characters with the empty string here, and uh, I am passing a number here. All right. And also in the next step here, I am formatting that numbers. You can see here that zero two three. Uh, yeah, this is a basically formatting string here. I am formatting the numbers here. All right, so if I run this cell here, you guys can see that this is now a formatted number. Wow, we like just uh, cleaned our phone numbers here. This was like very, uh, uh, very messy and the format was like very different. So what we did here that we wrote a pattern here and here we are saying that I want every match uh, except digit. All right, this caret sign here represents that I want every match uh, except digits. All right. Um, so, for example, if I remove this one here and if I a apply a here, so it's mean here that I want that I want every uh, pattern uh, except then uh, I want every match except a. So it's very simple. All right. I hope you got this one here. So here I'm saying that I want every match except any digit. I want every match except any digit. And I want to match. And uh, I, I want to replace any founded matches with the empty string, uh, which basically result in uh, pure numbers, digits. All right. Then uh, we are we I saved that number here in this variable. And then what I am going to do is I am going to append this number here in this new phone list here but before pending that i formatted that number here all right 
so in this format you can see a string here i have formatted that in this format here and then i have appended to this list here and we can see a list here all right uh, so so we covered all of the uh, basics in rejects now let's move on to the next section here and which is basically a exercise for this lecture first of all uh, very congratulations uh, that you covered all of the basis of rejects so now it's exercise for the reject so now it's the time for you to improve what you learned from this course here so this is the exercise that i prepared uh, you can find this jupyter notebook on this github here and this is a jupyter notebook for rejects exercise you can refer to this jupyter notebook here which something looks like this you can see here all of the exercises let me explain so basically uh, there is a description for you and it basically says like uh, find awesome or intelligent from this text here and here you write you, you need to write your pattern here so for all of these exercises here you can see the description for here and also you can see a output desired output that is like expected from you when you write a rejects here pattern here sorry so this is exercises and uh, i hope uh, you will cover so just pause a video here and do all of these exercises by your own and uh, then after some time i will like go through this exercise on my own and if you want to like uh, see solutions for this there is also a notebook with the name rejects exercises solutions on github you can see here rejects exercises solution this notebooks uh, basically contain the solutions for this exercise here so you can also refer to this but uh, it is not recommended for you uh, just uh, go for this exercise and uh, okay so now let's continue with this exercise here and i hope so that you did all of the exercise and maybe you can stuck on some points here maybe uh this one here maybe some for the what you say for the emails so it's okay don't worry if you stuck on this here so don't worry it's okay so now let's uh jump into this cell here let's run this cell here then here we have find all patterns that match or some more intelligent okay so we need to find all of the we need to extract all of the words awesome or intelligent from this string here so it's very simple here so we will write awesome here we want to match awesome pattern here or uh, intelligent here so we got all of the list here so now let's jump on to the next cell here here uh, i want to like match all of the rafes from this string here or rafes with dot from here all right so i will like write a rafe here and then for some cases we need dot here we need all of the rafes and rafe dot so we need these both patterns here so i will say like i always need rafe and for the dot this is optional if there is a dot with rafe take it if there is no dot with rafe then don't take it so this was the first way and for the second way what we can do is we can apply a quantifier here and this quantifier here is a steric and here the steric is applied to this dot here so what we are saying here is so basically we are saying that we want all of the rafes uh where it can be followed by this dot here the occurrence of dot can be of zero time or more than one time so let's run this hell here um all right all right okay okay so we need to like escape this one here because uh remember that this is a special character in rejix so we need to escape this one here all right now it worked so we escaped this one here uh, dot here because this is a special character here and what we are now saying here that 
uh, we want to like match zero time or more than one time dot here. So now let's move on to the next cell here. Here we want to find all the patterns that match Rafik. So basically from this string we want to match all this one pattern here. All right. So here you can see that there are special characters here. We need to escape them. So let's write a pattern here. Rafe dot is you can see here that this is a special character. Let's escape this one. Also static is a special character. Let's escape this one here. And also we don't need to escape here uh, space here because uh, we we just need to uh, escape the space in that case where we have multi line rejects. But here we are doing on the single line. So we don't need to escape a space here. Then we have a plus operator here. We need to escape a plus here too. Then we have is. Then we have amazing. Then we need to escape a dot here. Then we need to escape a plus here. So let's now let's run. Yes, we successfully grab this string here. All right. So now let's move on to the next cell here. So grab all the list of food. So we can see here we have a list of foods here and also a list of sabzi here. All right, so so here, so just don't care about this word here. Basically, this is a word in Urdu, so Urdu language. So basically, we here want to grab all of the foods here. So what we can do here is, we can use here negative look ahead. All right, uh, sorry, negative uh, positive look behind. So we can use here positive look behind. We can say here that I want all of the word character here. All right, and um, I want all of the word character here. No, no. First of all, let me create a group here. Here I can say that uh, just negative look ahead here. That I want this. I want food here, which is then followed by space, and then is equal to and then space here. And then I here in the output we can see that I want the list whole list here all all of the foods. All right, so basically I implemented a negative look ahead here. Basically I am saying that I want all of the patterns uh, where it is immediately followed by this pattern here. Basically it is followed by there is no space here. Sorry for this with food here. Then space, then is equal to then space. All right. Now here we will call our pattern here. Here we can simply say that uh, here. All right. So let's also explain the group here. Let's escape the open bracket because uh, this one is a uh, what do you say? This one is a special character here. So we need to escape this open bracket here. Then declare a close bracket here and in between. We want everything, and then, and then like apply a dot here, and then apply a quantifier, which is a hashtag here. So let's run this one, and let's see what happened. Yes, we successfully grab all of the list here, which is followed by this food space is equal to here. So, so basically, we grabbed all of the foods list of foods here. Yeah. So here uh, we want to grab everything except animal. So here in this text here, it basically contains every list here. It contains a list of food, drinks, desserts, fruit, vegetables, numbers, colors, animals. All right. So here uh, we want every list is, uh, except this animal list here. All right. So we can also see output here that we grabbed every list here except the animal list all right we can't see an animal list here so let's write a regex here so in this rejects what we can do is we can apply a negative look behind look behind here all right uh, so just so basically we want every list except this animal list all right so we we, we, we can apply here a group where we can say I want um, I don't want those patterns which are followed by animal uh, then question mark and then space here because in the final output we don't have a space here so then we need to include this one space here because 
we can see that every pattern has a space here all right so we can see every button has a space here so <laughs> i i don't want matches which is followed by this animal here this pattern here then i want another group here where i can say that i want the open and close brackets and i want everything inside between them so now let's run this cell here yes we successfully uh, achieve our target here you can see the output here we captured all of the list here uh, except this animal list here so now let's jump on to the next cell here here basically we want all of this uh, what do you say all of the uh, urls here so in urls we can see that we have sometime s here we don't have sometime s here we we have another protocol here with the ftp so we need to grab all of these here you can also see here all right the output here so now what we can do is we can like do http and then s is optional here sometimes we have s sometimes we don't have s so we can say here we we make this as is an optional here all right and in ahead of it we can say that we have in every url we must have this this thing here all right so let's write this thing here and then you can see here sometimes we have www and sometimes we don't have this string here but the main thing which is like which we can notice here that every uh, URL ends with when there is a space here. All right, so it's and you every URL ends where when there ever a space. So we can I also gave a hint here like you can use uh, this one special character here, which is basically represents a uh, non-space character. All right, so let me write uh, this capital s so basically here i am saying that okay so basically there is also an, another protocol so i applied this or better here and just copied this one here and applied this here but here we have ftp protocol here right ftp then this here then this here all right so now let's run this cell and just check what is the output so we can see here that we have this basically this represents that i want any match other than uh, byte space character all right so basically by default if we write everything the occurrence of that pattern is for one time it's just one time until we don't specify any uh, quantifier here. so i specified a quantifier here so basically plus quantifier here because we always want more than one character here all right so I'm also applying a plus here. So now let's run this now cell here. Yes, we can see that we grabbed our all of the URLs here. So basically let me jump into the Google here so that you can know what we have other special characters in regex regex uh, W3 school. Let's check this from school. Python regex. You can see here that uh, we have all of the functions which are available in Python. Find all I covered all of these functions in this lecture, and you can also refer to this uh, URL here. It's basically very well documentation uh, for regexes. Here you can see here that we have every character here which we use in uh, like uh, regexes. Here we have also in special characters here, special sequences. Sorry. Here we have special sequences here. Here you can see minus s. What minus s does? Basically, it returns a match where the string does not contain a white space character. All right. So basically, if there would not be a, a white space character, it would uh, return us that match. And if we have uh, small s here, it means it represents a white space character. All right. So it would return any match when there will be a white space character. 
so basically it's opposite if it's an opposite of this small s here so if we like see a uh, small d here so here it's mean that we want any match any digit matches all right so if we use capital d so here uh, basically we want to return a match where the string does not contain digits so it's very simple all right guys so here you can see here small with small w and slash we are like returning uh but you say word character here if we have a capital w uh we are not uh returning any word characters here so you can also use you can also refer to this website here and you can read all of these special characters here and there is also a set that's basically i i already go through this you can see here a caret sign here that we want every match other uh, except this a character here or character here and n character here all right so here we want every match where it would be 0 1 2 or 3 here we want every match where there would be a 0 to 9 digits so here we want both matches uh, in the first digit we can have 0 to 5 in the second we can have 0 to 9 and so on all right so now let's jump back into our jupyter notebook here and this cell here so now i hope uh, this is clear to you basically here we are saying that we want any uh non white space character here we want to match any non white space character here so that's why www.example.com was a uh, is not a space so that's why uh it matched here so now let's jump onto the next cell here where we want to extract all of the dates from the string below so we want to extract all of the dates from the string below right so here what we can do is um basically we can do here is we can do uh, this sign here character here and then space here then we want everything here so let's try this and check yes we successfully grabbed all of the uh, dates from here so basically i i want to show like there are many ways to do this all right so don't worry about this so you can see there is a uh basically we can also uh, apply a positive uh, sorry negative look ahead here uh, sorry positive look behind here all right and uh, we can now jump on to the next cell here extract all the users from the string below so basically we now need to extract all of these users from this string and in this string we can see that we have five users here where each user have a name email and phone all right so now let's grab this one here and here we can see output we need output something like this all right so uh we can see that we need to assign and we we like we need to write a pattern in the way that it would return a sucky with a user id then user id here the name and then email and phone we'll just so now let's jump onto this here and write a pattern here in one line so here we can see that user is common in all of the keywords here so i'm going to say that we want user in space here then we have a di single digit here all right then we have a this here then we have a line break here all right i'm going to slash n this so this is this represents a line breaks all right so now we have a name here so let's grab a name all right just so basically we want to capture this one here all right user id because we can see here in output we want to capture user id here so let's convert this into group here all right and let's question mark capital p then group this one here yes So now let's move on to the on to the na next here name we reach to this point here and then we have a space here then we have a name here all right so now we can say that we want everything plus operator here then we want to name this group here and we want to name this group here with the name here all right so now let's 
find a name for this token. All right. So now then we have a next line space here. We can see this one here. Basically, all patterns are same in all of the users. So we can refer to this one because this one is near to this one, and and we can also see the patterns uh, in the same view. So now we reached here. We then have an email here. Then we have a colon here space. Then we have a email here. All right. And here email in email we can see that we have um, with the different extensions or domain names or different emails. So basically, in short, we want to say that we want everything here because we know that there is uh, there is an email here. All right, and there is nothing ahead of this uh, email here. So. Basically, we want everything basically, and also keep in mind that this doesn't include a, a line a line break. All right, so this doesn't include this character. So, but just keep in this mind. So, we want everything. So, just call this group here. Uh, let me like question mark here, then P, then this one. Then we are going to say email with this email here. All right. So now. Then we have after this email we have a line break here. So let's specify a line break here. Then um, there is a phone address. Let's write a phone. Then we have a semicolon. Colon sorry here. Then space. Then we want everything here. All right. Because after this when we reach here we want everything uh, ahead of this. Because we can see here that the patterns also differs. And basically, all of these are numbers. Um, if we like, don't rely on formatting. So we want everything here, and we want to group this one here with capital P. And what we are saying this here is number. So just you know. So now let's run this cell here. Yes, we successfully grab all of these. Users, we can see here. Yes, finally. So now, so basically, you guys noticed that it only captured these, yeah, these, uh, these. What you say? These groups here, which are named. All right. All right. So now let's, if you like, we like we convert this to group. What have? What will happen? Let's see. You can see that it doesn't capture this one because it would only capture those uh, where we will name that groups. Mm -hmm. All right, so so now let's move on to the next cell here. Here the description is for this problem that we want to extract all of the valid serial numbers. Serial number is represented in this way, where the first two characters are product code and the sec and the and the next four uh, digits are basically a manufacturing year, and then this is a unique product identifier. All right. Then we have a list of um, serial numbers here, and we can also see that we have also a invalid serial. All right. So we need to extract all of the valid serial numbers, and here we can see that we are uh, looping through this one, and then we are matching a single string here. All right, so we need to uh, write a match here for this just single string. So just write a match here, so we can see that uh, for every valid serial number we have any word character here, and the occurrence of this word word character is two. So now let's write here any word character here. The occurrence for this is two. Then we have a minus here. Then we you can see that in the year we have digits, and this is uh, four digits. All right. So let's add the digit here, and the occurrence of this digit is four times. Then we have a minus here. Then we can see here we have a word characters here because word characters includes any small alphabets, large uh, capital alphabets, and also one, zero to nine numbers. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have any word characters here. So we can do um, something like this word character, and the occurrence of these. Product unique identifier is four times, so that we can here four times, and the here we have output here. But here we can 
okay so basically uh, just don't uh, group these here don't group this one because we are grouping these here all right so now let's run this one here all right all right we need to group here too okay okay because here from this error we can see that here we are extracting a group here but here in the patterns there is no group so we need to convert this to group all right we need to but we don't need to uh, name this group all right because we are naming this here these here so yes now we successfully ran this cell here and here we are like if if the match was found what we are saying here is we are extracting the groups which we declare in the patterns here and we are appending to this list here and then and in the end we are displaying this uh, what do you say uh, list here okay so now we completed this problem here now let's jump onto the next cell here here we can see that uh, the description is extract full timestamp and error message okay we need to extract we need to extract full time subscribe and error message here we can see that timestamp in are in this way and we have what do you say we have error message in this way all right so here we can see we have a logs here and we need to extract any error messages here all right so there are two error messages here we need to extract their timestamp here all right and also the message for it and in the output we can also see that uh, we are extracting the timestamp here and we want this final output here all right and also we have um, what do you say this one message for that error basically we want to detect all of the errors so just uh, let's write a pattern here it's interesting one uh, i hope so so basically we are uh, starting with a group uh, open bracket which is which is uh, which is which is the open bracket here then we have um, everything here inside we can see that we want to grab everything all right so i want to grab everything here then we have a close bracket here we want to we need to escape this one because this is a special character in ajax so we need to grab everything but in the final output we can see that there is no bracket here so we need to like make a group here all right and we are saying here that we need every um, characters inside this open and curly bracket here but as we know that by default it's a greedy it can grab this from this one starting here from this one ending here all right so basically now then we need to make it non greedy so it would uh, match any what do you say it would match any smallest uh, patterns all right so now let's move on to this next here then we have a space i applied a space here and we just only want those where we have error here all right so we need to keep open bracket error then we need to write error then i need to escape this um close bracket here then we have a space here then we have a last pattern here and basically these are the groups um basically i can convert into the group here and here we can see that i want everything uh at the end so we can i can just simply do this here now let's run this one here yes this ran successfully and we can see that we successfully find our pattern yes so now let's jump into the next cell here here basically i'm saying the description is bring out the list from the string and choose all right so basically here this is very simple we need to extract the string uh, list from the string so i will say i will i need to escape a open bracket here then escape a close bracket here then we want everything inside this open and close brackets and then it's very simple we got this string here 
let's jump on to the next one here okay so here uh, bring out all the valent disk from the sphinx all right so we need to um bring out all the valid list from the sphinx here. so basically here we need to um bring out all of the valid list so this one is a valid list here to this is a valid list, valid list here so this one is not a valid list here all right so we need to grab this one here this one list here this list here all right so what we can do here is we want open bracket then we want close bracket in the final output and we can then see that we want everything inside these brackets and make this non greedy and yes we find it all of these uh, brackets valid brackets here and we can also i can also make this in group uh, it's very simple like i can say here that um I can also make this group here if we want to just like grab this here this instead of this bracket square brackets here and I make this group and it would now grab all of the content inside the list here all right so but here as a discovery of valid list so we need to grab all of the valid list so then we don't need to apply group here and we will bring all of the valid list in the final output here so now let's jump on to the next cell here here i am saying bring out all the content inside the list except the list square bracket so here we like need to uh, need to get all of the content inside the list so we this is actually just we did here so let's uh, escape the open bracket and closing bracket right here we want to which basically by default like crow groups are capturable so i declared the group here and we want everything inside here and it should be non greedy so let's so i am uh, bring out uh, all the content in, from inside the list without including this open and closing uh, brackets here so now let's jump on to the next word here extract every digit word except dots and wide spaces extract every digit words except dots all right all right so basically we we want everything from this string here except these dots and this white characters here white spaces here so basically what we can do here that we want everything except this dot and this space here all right so we can say here all right but uh but we didn't uh, specify here the what do you say quantifier so we need to uh, specify quantifier here and we need to i specify plus here that uh, i'm saying that the occurrence should be one time or can be more than one time so let's run this cell here and we successfully grab everything except this dot and white space character here all right so now, now let's jump over to the next cell here here we need to extract all of the words all right all of the words here so it's very simple so what we will do i will say here and extract any word character here the occurrence should be one or more than one time and this and i extracted all of the word characters here here i need to extract all of the hashtags i am saying there that i need hashtag which starts with the hash here and then there should be any word character the occurrence for the word character is for is one time or more than one time oh ho. so i successfully uh, extract all of the hashes and there is also another way here we want to match any non white space character here the uh, the like length the matches for this should be more than one time or one time so this is another way to do this there are multiple ways to do this all right okay so here uh, we need to extract every names all names from a string here so it's basically very simple here let's get the open bracket then close bracket then we need everything inside of this and then we just can contain this in a group we found this one here we got this one here all right so now let's, let's move on to the next cell here here we said that we want to extract numbers from a string in parentheses so now we want to like 
uh, extract all of these numbers from a parenthesis it's very simple so let's copy this one here and paste this one and instead of square bracket you want to close bracket here all right and close bracket here this one because we need to close uh, sorry open and close parenthesis here because these are the special characters uh, in regex we use open and close parenthesis for the group so that's why we need to skip the groups here too let's move on to the next term uh, next cell here we need to extract all of the keywords from a string in a curly braces all right so basically it's very simple to just copy this one here and paste this one we need to like do this thing here it's very simple and then we still need to escape this thing this square uh, this curly open and close brackets because these are also used as a quantifier in regexes let's run this cell let's move on to the next cell here here we have extract we need to extract it from a string in the angle brackets all right so now let's uh, we need uh, in the uh, from the start open bracket then close brackets and here and in the between we want everything but we don't want to include this open and close these uh, greater and less than sign in the final output here all right so then we need to make this into group and then we defend this cell and we grab all of the things inside this here now extract items for our string in square brackets it's very simple basically it's like a repeatance let me copy that pattern from here these are all similar i just noticed however when i ran this cell i got my final output and here we need to apply positive look ahead here no sorry there is no need to like here the description can be uh, match uh, match then here we can also something do just like this here we can see that we have any word character because in this well here we can see that we have any word character here then the occurrence of this word character is must be more than one time one can be a one or more than one time then we have what you say uh, at the rate then we have any word character here and the occurrence of it this is more than one time then we have a dot here we need to skip dot here then we have a word character here i often see these uh, extension sometime the length of extensions are two time or sometime three times so that's why i'm going to like do this thing that minimum i want this two time or maximum i want three times now let's run this cell and you can see the output here now let's move on to the next and the final cell here here we need every file except this dot temp file here all right here we can also see that uh, we don't have temp file in our final output so we need to match here every string except this one so we can see that we have any word character here the occurrence for the word character is one time or more than one time and then we have a then we can apply here pause uh, negative look ahead question mark and then we have exclamation mark here and then we can see here that we can have we need to skip this dot temp here and then we need to blur temp here okay so now there is a strange behavior we can see that we are getting this one here all right because some because basically we are saying that we need to match pattern where there is no dot temp head of this one here all right i uh, basically also ran this cell uh, before recording this session and i like uh, felt that this is a strange behavior here because it should not output me this one here all right 
because here we are matching if it match then we are like saving the file name full file name here in this list basically this is a list comprehension so then uh, what i concluded here is that it matches all of these here all right and it's not basically it matches this here and sometimes i don't know why this is a behavior here but but to be honest the solution here is we need to apply this dot here and we need to skip here all right so here we need to uh, extract this dot from this what do you say uh, a negative look ahead from negative look ahead and uh, what we are saying here is that we need any word character the occurrence for any word character should be can be of one time or more than one time then we need a dot here then this is a must all right and when we apply dot inside of this group here it 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 behaves as a optional so this is yes this is to be noticed when we apply this dot inside of this here it it can be of optional and here it matches all of the string before so what now we are saying that we need any word characters here which can be of one time or more than one time which is then followed by dot here all right then we are saying that we applied negative look ahead we are saying that we don't want we mo we want to match every patterns any word characters which is not followed by time so by this way we got all of the uh, strings or files uh, which are not temp temp files so that's all from this uh, for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe and like and also comment and uh, just stay tuned uh, with me for more lectures thank you guys bye bye